Hello again guys, welcome back to the channel, my name's our lad for Set Play Gaming. This is the EAFC 24 Colchester United career mode with Owen Coyle. We are into episode 3 and we're going to jump into some low news. Uh, just the three. Uh, Donnell Thomas has gone to Sutton United on loan. Jay Cooper has gone to Doncaster Rovers on loan. And Bradley Ionvian has gone on loan to Mansfield Town until the end of the season those are good moves for us because it just reduces the squad a little bit and enables us to sort of like rotate 20 or so players without anybody really moaning about game time coming up in today's episode we have three matches first we're going to kick off with a game on the opening day against mansfield at home Hopefully we can win that one. And then we're going to push into August. We have a game against Sutton United away. And then we're going to finish today's episode with a match in the Carabao Cup against Birmingham. Let's get behind the boys and see how we get on. Alright, so it's the start of the season as we take on Mansfield Town. And Owen Coyle has named a side here, which could be interesting. Um, looking for the first three points in the first game. Goodman in goal. Egbo right back. Lawrence... Dallison and Hall are the back three with Ian Dolo left back and then McGeehan partners Arthur Reid a surprise inclusion there with Edwards and Chilvers in behind Tom Hopper a bit predictable the front three there I think we knew that would be the go-to front three and we're looking to do what we did in pre-season which is keep things tight and nab one or two goals the opening 20 minutes you can see here um, we win the header and McGeehan's low shot, good effort, uh, saved wide by Mason and cleared by Mansfield as they look to try and grab something themselves here on 29 minutes. Boateng plays it back to Reed and he loses out to McGeehan and a chance to break as he sees Edwards. Edwards spots Chilvers through the middle, a lovely little dink pass and how about this for a little ball roll as he takes it into the box and just dinks out past the goalkeeper Mason it's a lovely um, finish from Noah Chilvers there's the ball roll just to take it away from the defender and then just coolly finishes into the corner you love that kind of um, composure now into the second half Kayla Dunn trying to make a nuisance of himself but well intercepted again by McGeehan had a good game in midfield and then Chilvers with a through ball, Tom Hopper, it's bouncing, it's on the left side, he's got to do better there, that is his favourite left foot, look at that, it kind of slices off his foot doesn't it, he should go across the goalkeeper there and definitely should do better, Mansfield trying to get back into this and then um, Williams is going to play this to the edge of the box and then Ollie Clark picks out Swan, Forces a save here from Goodman. This is a good save, reaction save. Goodman keeping up his um, form from pre-season. Um, we don't get to sort of keep those kind of players, the Premier League players that we've got on loan, but you take what you can get and then try and rebuild in the second season. So 73 minutes in, Mansfield coming forward. You'll see the through ball here. I get caught switching players and Boateng into the box. Out comes Goodman, narrows the angle and luckily Boateng shoots wide. 78 minutes now. Ollie Clark through to Oates. Oates sidesteps his man and then he's going to play this in. Swan with the effort and another good save from Goodman. And across come the players. They're celebrating. Guys, there's still 11 minutes left. It's a little bit premature to be celebrating like we've won the game when there's still 10 or 11 minutes left. Calm down, boys. Calm down. Probably means a lot to them, but we we have to be. There's a long, a lot of football to to play through this season. And then at the end here, 93 minutes, Egbo loses out to Swan. He pulls it back. Great effort here, but it's tipped over by Goodman, and that is full-time. We do manage a 1-0 win. We should probably get used to this in the early stages of the career mode while we figure out things with the team. On to the next game. And we are away at Sutton United for game number two. And uh, Kyle's made one or two changes. I'm going to go through them with you now. Smith is in goal. Egbo right back. Lawrence, Dallison and Hall. Ian Dolo at left back. Um, Jay Mingy and McGeehan in midfield Edwards Chilvers and Taylor this time the on loan striker we get a chance to have a look at him and see what he can do here as we take on Sutton United the opening two or three minutes 
you'll see Casimu into Eastmond and then Mella into Kasumu and he finds the top corner. That's a great finish. Uh, caught cold a little bit here. Kasimu into the box. The defender's not close enough. It's a really nice finish though, to be fair. Just side foots it into the top corner. And then back come Colchester United looking to try and get ourselves on even terms. Chilvers into the box and then he goes for the short placement shot. It's blocked. He lays it off. And look at that. Joe Taylor smashes it in. The goalkeeper is livid. He's saying, why didn't you block the shot? And Taylor says, I'm going to headbutt the corner flag. I'm not sure what that's about. But it takes it on his left. And then hits it with his right. It's a nice accomplished finish from the on-loan striker. I'm not sure whether you guys are familiar with League 2. But in real life, Joe Taylor's been absolutely smashing it. So it is going to be interesting to see how he does. And then 15 minutes, he brings the ball down. Gets a lucky deflection. And then side foots it past the goalkeeper. He's now got a brace. Um, I didn't realise this guy was the League 2's Messi. Lovely little touch. The defender there has to do better. I'm sorry. The defender has to do better. He just ran past him and then just said, Oh, go on, then have a shot. And it's actually a scuffed shot, side foot. And the goalkeeper probably has to do better as well. 22 minutes. We give the ball away and Gessan. And then it's going to be flicked through. Kasimu swings his left at it and hits it over the crossbar. This guy looks a bit of a dangerous player. Hall just doing enough to put him off there, getting close enough over the crossbar. <coughs> 25 minutes in, Mingi loses the ball. Smith into Kasimu. They keep looking for this guy. Into Coley. Coley flicks it through. Out comes the goalkeeper. Good save. And then Smith has a chance. He tries to hook it in. And he ends up shooting wide with an empty net. Not good for them. 33 minutes in. You see we've cut off the passing lane. He passes it back. Doesn't see Joe Taylor. A chance here for his hat-trick and he takes it. A hat-trick for Joe Taylor in his first match. Um, I don't know what to say. I'm, I'm kind of speechless. I, he isn't the, the most highest rated player at our team. But he's been given three chances and scored three goals. I mean... You know, I'm trying to sort of say, well, Hopper's 61 rated. This guy is a few points below him. Hopper didn't, you know, he played all right in the first game. But when you've got Joe Taylor smashing, got a hat-trick in, in his opening game, it's put Hopper under a lot of pressure because he's going to have to, next time Tom Hopper plays, he's going to have to play really, really well to justify, um, justify Coyle selecting him um, into the second half you can see Smith made a great save a poor pass from Nico Lawrence and puts the uh, captain under pressure he loses it it's pulled back to Lee Angle and now suddenly after being 3-1 up and looking comfortable it now looks really um, dangerous it's a poor pass from Nico Lawrence and then he just sort of side for Smith side foots it in nothing really the goalkeeper can do there He's already dived across. And then the final few minutes, we're looking to try and get ourselves an extra insurance goal. Chilvers brings it down, spots Ian Dolo on the overlap. And then he goes to cross it, and it's flicked into the box. I don't know what their goalkeeper's doing there, but it finds Jay Mingi, who has an open net, and he turns that in. It's 4-2 here at the Borough Sports Ground. And... Um, I didn't expect this, I've got to say. I expected Sutton to press us a little bit. I expect us to be put under pressure. But I'm going to take it this early on. He's got an invisible ball there. Obviously, that's something that they need to work on. On to the final game. All right, so the final match of today as we take on Birmingham City in round one of the Carabao Cup. Some changes here that I'm going to go through. Goodman in goal. Mauro Bandera, who's on loan to us from Arsenal, is starting at right back. Uh, left back is Alamin Kazim. And then in the middle, the back three is Greenwich, Kelleher and Hall. Then we've got Marshall, Miranda and Reed in the middle. Newby, Fevrier and Hopper up front. Early chance here for Siriki Dembele. 
and uh, ends up putting it over the crossbar. The idea here is to sit back and frustrate them and then try and grab like a set piece goal or something like that simply because they are higher rated than we are. Great save here from Goodman. Um, he started the season very brightly. Uh, really brightly. He's going to come back here. Um, eventually they're going to work the ball into the box like they always do. Uh, looking for the pull back. Sunic and a block this time by I think it was Hall. No, Kelleher might be in. Uh, good block in the middle. Uh, Marshall Miranda sitting quite deep looking to pull the strings here. 37 minutes in and we've got a chance. Uh, Alamin Kazin, Reed turns, um, plays it into Hopper, turns his man. Hopper fires it over the crossbar. Given that Joe Taylor's just scored a hat trick, you know, Tom Hopper better pull his socks up because the pressure's on him. And then a chance here as the ball is dropped down and he hits it on the volley, but probably should do better. Into the second half now, and so far, so good. It's nil nil. You know, uh, we haven't created a lot, but then at the same time, we've looked defensively solid. And that's something that we need to, you know, keep focus on. Um, I understand it's probably not going to be, you know, exciting as a career mode concept. For some of you watching, you probably want a lot of high scores, but we have to be realistic. Um, pull back here, Sunjic with a good uh, shot. Great save from Goodman. And then a bit of a... A brain fart moment here by Kazim trying to flick it past Sariki Dimbele. Shows his skill, shows his pace, then cuts inside Hall. Out comes Goodman. Great save. Yeah. So Alamin Kazim better not do that again. <laughs> Marshall Miranda. Chance here. 65 minutes swung into the box. Flicked on. And a great chance. Newby takes it past the uh, centre back. Into the box. Great effort from Newby there to, to get into the box and take the shot. Birmingham now, 68 minutes. We've done so well here. Here comes Lev into Dembele. Dembele into Hall. Hall and a good parry. Uh, 100 parry. The um, corner swung in here. 69 minutes. Swung in. One. And then Sunjic is on the edge of the six-yard box. Nobody marking him. Um... It's a disappointing goal, but I have to say, uh, given the fact that we're playing a back five and it's a corner situation, we should be able to defend that. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, he just gets ahead of uh, Kazim and then Alamin Kazim, and then he's there on the six yard box to head it in. 75 minutes in, Dembele into Sunjic, Sunjic with a pass back, and then once again I got caught with the L1 switch. I couldn't. Um, decide quickly enough who I should be using there and then Dembele's shot was um, saved uh, Kindy wins the header here Newby as the ball dropped he tried to do something spectacular and ends up shooting wide um, and that was pretty much one of the probably one of the best better chances we've had in the second half but the fact that he couldn't get it on target is pretty sad we end up losing this game 1-0 um, all in all I'm not terribly disappointed to go out of the Carabao Cup. Um, we put on a strong performance against a better opponent. Uh, I wasn't to be. Thanks for watching today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to be back in two days. It should be Saturday. We take on Grimsby, Walsall and Tranmere Rovers in the league. If you enjoyed this, consider watching more from the playlist to support me. And of course, you can always subscribe as well. That certainly helps things around here. So I'll be back soon. And thank you so much for watching. This is Alad for Set Play Gaming. See you guys real soon.